Tunji, 2-0 against Southend United here and a fantastic win. Yeah, it was a good result for the boys. A great team performance. I think um, we had a plan going into the game and we executed it well. First half and second half and yeah, got the three points. Obviously, you've had to be a bit patient <clears throat> in the team and uh, in the side earlier in the season at right back and you come in at centre-half today. Personally, you must be feeling great after that. Yeah, yeah. Obviously, that's football. You know, sometimes you're going to be in a team, sometimes not. But you just have to stay professional and keep working hard and be ready for your chance. So I hope I, I, hope I took it today and can continue to progress after that. Talk me through the game from your perspective. Obviously, you started and quite dominant in the first half. What was said at half time, and, and you know how important was it to go on and, and make sure we continued as we played? Yeah, half time we were just saying more of the same. Obviously, we dominated the ball, so we thought that they're not going to allow us to continue to do that. So we made sure that we were ready for the second half and whatever they could throw at us. And I thought we did that well. We responded well, and we turned them around a few times when we had to. But yeah, all in all, it was a good dominant performance. And uh, first time you played alongside Dan Happy in, in terms of defence, how did you find that? That was good. Haps was talking to me throughout the game. He's solid in the air, he's good with the ball, so it was, it was easy to slot next to him. And obviously, after um, a run of a three straight defeats, coming back in, it was a derby tonight, it was cold, it was under the lights, it kind of had it all really, didn't it? Yeah, yeah, the weather's getting bad, but um, I think it doesn't really change too much in terms of the game. We just have to go out, be professional and perform, and yeah, we did that, so I'm happy. Obviously, you're at the, the start of your career, but a man probably towards the end of his career was, was the one that gave Rory in that fire in the middle tonight. Joey McEnough, what can you say? Oh, Joby's class, you know, every week, every day in training and on the games as well. He's, he's brilliant. He's great with me as a young lad. He keeps talking to me and giving me advice off the pitch. And as a captain, he's just a great leader. So, yeah, someone I look up to. And, and finally, obviously, we, we're going to Salford this weekend, a team that we're expecting to be strong and expecting to do quite well this year. I guess it's just important now just to keep the momentum from tonight and, and look to make it six points from a week. Mm-hmm. Yeah, when you win a game like this, the most important thing is to take it into the next game, regardless of who you're playing, you know, wherever they are, wherever they are in the league. We need to go out and stamp our authority on the game. It's at home again, so we need to perform, yeah.